Man, I download a lot of stuff. Actually, I shouldn't admit to that too much. But uh, it's not, it makes my computer riddled with viruses, and I guess I could get antivirus software, yada yada. But what I do is I just periodically wipe the thing and start all over. And unfortunately, that process takes a while. So I mean, like, what am I gonna do? All I have is this crappy computer that I use to record my videos, and uh, maybe I should try to find something. I guess I could go go look at the pesky dame site, see if there's anything there. I mean, probably something ridiculous there that I haven't mocked yet. Hey everyone, so this week we're looking at women in comedy, um, and I wanted to look at some sort of claims about women in comedy that I hear quite a lot of the time. Um, first one, that women aren't really funny. Well, great. I mean, the easiest way for you to show that that's untrue is to make me laugh during the rest of this video. Oh. And by the way, I should have mentioned this in my first clip, if anybody has ideas for videos for me that aren't feminism, I'm getting really sick of the topic. I mean, it's practically mocking itself at this point. And I mean, as lazy as I am, I'd like slightly more of a challenge. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Make me laugh, sister. I'm not about to name a massive long list of really hilarious women in comedy. Not because I couldn't, because there are plenty out there. But because if you genuinely believe that an entire gender is just incapable of being funny, then you're not exactly going to be paying a lot of attention to me right now, saying that they are. Well, of course women can be funny, it's just that a woman who is funny is roughly as uncommon as a man who isn't a rapist. Um, I think it's a really, really lazy way of thinking, to be quite honest, and it's frankly about as stupid as me saying that all people with straight hair are lazy, so I'm not even going to entertain that thought much longer. You're not going to entertain anything. I'm still not laughing. Claim number three, um, that women have only recently become funny, and um, this is kind of a recent thing. Um, I'm just, I'm not even going to try and argue that point myself, but I saw a really great quote um, by Matthew Perry, who plays Chandler Bing in Friends, um, and he was talking at the 2012 Comedy Awards. This year we saw many hilarious performances by women, as well as many idiotic articles from men about how women suddenly became funny. Yes, imagine how great the Mary Tyler Moore show would have been had Mary, Betty White, Cloris Leachman and Valerie Harper actually been funny. If only Lucille Ball, Carol Burnett, Gilda Radner or Julia Louis-Dreyfus had been able to get a laugh. I guess what I'm saying is that this wasn't the year women became funny. This was the year men finally pulled their heads out their asses. And something I hear a lot of the time when I have these kind of discussions is, oh, well, there aren't enough women in comedy anyway, so you can't blame me for not knowing about all of this. Actually, I was just thinking how profoundly ironic this is. There are actually a lot of videos on the Pesky Dames channel about women being funny, and certainly women can be funny, but not feminists. Feminists are never intentionally funny. But I'll, I'll, I'll get into this irony and why it is just a little bit later. Um, and okay, so that's not entirely wrong. Um, the comedy genre is completely like, it is vastly male dominated. Um, but you can't use that as an excuse for like being foolish, basically. Tits are GTFO. Um, there is a hell of a lot of women in comedy. Um, and there has been for a very long time. Um, the problems are that, yeah, like there are a lot more men, but the fact is we do find it really easy to just forget about, um, and not notice, and sort of minimize women's influences in comedy. And you know, I just love how it's, it always has to be this elaborate fucking conspiracy to make women look like they're not good at shit. Did it ever occur to you? Like, one of the reasons men are so funny is because being funny really does help you get laid, even if you're hideous like this. Women, how do I put this? They don't have to do quite as much to get laid. Just gonna throw that out there. So, I mean, if, just from an evolutionary perspective, women don't really have to be funny. Or, like, have you ever heard of a laugh in the face of danger? Like, if you're on the battlefield, women don't, you know, for like most of history, women weren't on the battlefield. Like, they see danger, they run and hide, and then some man will face the danger for them. But you gotta have a sense of humor for facing the danger. So you can laugh in its face. A reason that there aren't enough women in comedy um, is probably due to the fact that it is so vastly male-dominated. 
um, is it's riddled with misogyny. Um, it's just being a woman is enough to be the fucking punchline. Forgive the mansplaining, but I think you meant to say being a feminist is the punchline. Um, but as long as, you know, it's the guy doing the setup of the joke. Um, I reckon that a lot of women don't feel safe in comedy. Um, and I'm going to point to the recent Daniel Tosh um, awfulness about that um, as an example. Um, so, trigger warning for rape jokes here. Um, for those of you who haven't heard about this, um, he was doing this bit about how rape jokes are always funny because rape is just hilarious. Um, and this woman um, decided to shout from the crowd, actually no, rape jokes are never funny. He should have said, well, yeah, with that attitude, nothing is funny. Um, and so Daniel Tosh apparently thought a really appropriate response to that would be to joke about how, um, how funny it would be if she was, that heckler was raped by, like, five guys, um, right then and there. Did it occur to you that he wasn't trying to be funny? He was trying to trigger her so she would, like, explode or implode or whatever the fuck it is people do when they're triggered so that she would shut the fuck up and let him get on with his comedy routine i mean you know do you know how annoying it is to be heckled that's not fun fuck you I, I mean i'm sorry just leave if you don't like that humor just leave i don't come down to where you work and slap the dick out of your mouth which is fucking disgusting quite frankly um and i think you can understand that Things like that might very well be a reason that women won't feel safe going into comedy or even being in that kind of environment at all. Yes, if you insist on taking sir, all kinds of shit really seriously, that will impair you as a comedian. I think in my opinion there is a lot to be done to make the world of comedy a more sort of woman-friendly place. Um, I think a good place to start would be to actually pay attention to and acknowledge and remember the women that actually already exist in comedy um, and challenge the fuck out of people who, whenever you hear these sort of tired old claims about um, women in comedy. Um, also to stop letting misogynistic comedians get away with it. See now, when you take good light-hearted jokes and start saying this is misogynistic that's not funny blah 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 that's actually the precise opposite of comedy you're like anti-comedy you come into contact with comedy and you annihilate it in a burst of fucking annoyance this starts at a basic level like don't let misogynistic and sexist jokes slide um the best way to advance female comedians is to find all other forms of comedy and kill them where they stand. That way, in a relative sense, women will be funnier. Is, I mean, is, I got that right? With your friend, if your mate, you know, who thinks he's really hilarious, like, gets called out when he makes, um, a kitchen joke, then he's gonna think about it and it'll become less funny to him. You can't see the profound fucking irony. Like, if you just kept your mouth shut, your contribution to the comedic spectrum would be zero, okay? Like, we don't expect you to make jokes. There's no way you can be funny. You're a feminist. You are physiologically incapable of being funny intentionally. But that's not good enough. It's not good enough to have zero contribution. What You, you actually have to actively seek out and destroy existing jokes. You, I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't be less funny. You have a negative funny value. Hopefully, unless he's a massive douchebag. Um, and the chances are, you know, he'll think about it more carefully next time. And if we can kind of, um, if people start realizing that things like rape jokes and other sexist, misogynistic jokes aren't funny. Uh, fuck you. Now, my computer is still resetting, so uh, let me just do a little additional question answering. One question I've been getting over and over and over the past few days, past week or whatever is, why are you such a fan of the Thanithius Divine? And here we go. She has a sense of humor, and a lot of people don't see it. For, uh, because, well, a lot of her supporters are feminists and incapable of grasping humor. And even when they do see the humor, I, like I've seen on her Twitter feed, like her feminist followers, they'll be like, that's not funny. And I'm like, oh man. That's a rough lot in life there, Krista. You're, you're really funny, and, uh,. Hanging out with feminists, that's... 
And then, of course, MRAs, they watch her videos and they don't understand the funny. I hope I'm not giving anything away with this one, but like when I saw her video, uh, signs that you might be like a harasser or rapist. First of all, if you look at the thumbnail, it said, are you a rapist with a question mark in capitals? And next to it, she's, it's a picture of her and she has the most priceless expression on her face. That thumbnail cracks my ass up. And then while she's reading her list, she's like, you're, you're a harasser and you're probably a rapist. You should probably be in jail. Uh, and a lot of people, like, nobody, so many people don't see how, like, witty and clever she is because they're mentally compromised, which, to get back to what I said I was going to talk about earlier, one thing that most psychiatrists, psychologists, counselors, etc. know is that a healthy sense of humor is the single greatest diagnostic factor for determining, I think my computer might be done doing its thing, be right back. Anyway, the, what I was saying is it's pretty well known that the best way to determine whether or not somebody is, uh, you know, mentally healthy, if they're going to make it, if they can cope with life, is if they have a sense of humor and they can laugh at themselves. A person who just abs that isn't laughing, able to laugh at themselves, is usually pretty fucking insane. Like, if you've ever met somebody that is just absolutely certain that they were abducted by UFOs, and you try to make some jokes, and they're just like, no, you know, they don't see that you're making jokes, or like these 9-11 truthers, or just any sort of crazy fucking person, they have no sense of humor. So, it's, I mean, why would I be anti-feminism? Uh, all people also ask, because they're humorless. That tends to imply they're fucking crazy. It's well known. Humorless people are crazy people. And again, like, not, not the Femithius divine. She's, she's fucking hilarious if you have a sense of humor. Anyway, uh, TPFN, feminists, instead of just insisting that women are funny, why don't you try to get your own sense of humor and quit saying that's not funny? Just a word of advice.